Hola chicas, welcome back to my channel. So today I filmed this look and it's like a blue teal smoky eye kind of look. Um, and it's more for like going out, for like partying, going out on dates, stuff like that. Um, not really a casual look, not really to go to the office or anything like that. Um, so, and for the lipstick, because I didn't film that part, I used, again, the Dose of Color, which everybody that watches my videos know they are my favorite. Um, and I just applied a little bit of, um, Bare Mineral lip gloss on top, um, just to give it some... Uh, some glossy effect so thank you so much if you guys want to learn how to create this look then definitely keep on watching and don't forget to like subscribe and share if you haven't done so already thank you so we are going to start with the smashbox full exposure palette i've had this palette for quite some time and the colors are beautiful we have some mattes and we have some shimmer colors in there and we are going to use the matte colors they don't really have names so we just we're going to start with that color that i pointed out and i'm just using a regular eyeshadow brush And now we're going to go into the Mika Beauty um, Cosmetics and those are pigments and that is a beautiful greenish brownish pigment color um, as you can see the number the name is Cadence I got that actually at the mall and I just got it to try it out and I actually do love how they apply, how they are applied how they feel um, how they look um, this color is a little different and tricky when you apply it as you see there and I'm applying it with a pencil um, Smashbox brush when you apply it it looks greenish but when you blend the eyeshadow then the green pigment doesn't show as much and it starts looking kind of brownish so I use the the other shade as a transition color but this one is going to go more just into the crease and as you can see there I'm just blending it and again back and forth wiper motions and I'm just blending it with a blending brush nothing fancy I think that one is from wet and wild which I think I got at a drugstore very cheap but it's actually kind of good so I'm just blending it because I don't want any harsh lines to come through and I'm just you know applying more as I see needed that I need it um, and again blending again back and forth because we don't want to see any harsh lines we don't want to see any blotchiness none of that so there I'm using the concealer from Kat Von D, the Locket Concealer. Um, that, is, I, that concealer is actually very good. It has very good coverage. Um, as you can see there, I do have a monster of a pimple that came out. And I am, um, it's actually very red and I am covering all of that with just a little bit of that concealer. So at first I wanted to do a cut crease kind of look which later on I kind of changed my mind and I went another direction but if you ever want to get a cut crease look this is how I do it um, I just take a little bit of concealer or even foundation and a small brush which that one that brush right there is the one I actually um, perfect my eyebrows with and you just basically just cut the crease right then and there and it's very easy to do um, you know your first time it might take you a while because it, it all depends on the shape of your eyes you kind of want to just there's no perfect way basically you kind of just want to go along the shape of your eye but that's basically how you do it and I, like I said I was originally going to do a cut crease look but then I decided not to so that's why there I'm just perfecting the look just making sure that it's you know that I do have a sharp line which is what you want for that smoky um for that cut crease look and again again just blending some more and here I'm gonna go with the ColourPop eyeshadow that one is in the shade effect I think it is and it's a beautiful uh, green teal color 
as you can see mine broke so I'm gonna start with this one on the outer corner of the eye um, with a small uh, brush from um, techniques real techniques brush and I did it again girls I messed up and I deleted a basically the the eye look so I'm gonna tell you what I did so I applied that on the outer corner of the eye then I went with the shade coconut from Colourpop again and I applied that to the inner corner of my eyes yes seriously again to the inner corner of my eyes and then apply just a little bit of brown in the outer corner corner again just to deepen that look and I just blended the look together, the both eyeshadows together. That's all I did. I applied some blue eyeliner um, on the waterline, which I got from Maybelline, I believe it is. And then I just applied the same shade that I applied on the outer corner of the eyes. I applied that on the um, on the bottom lashes, and I applied a little bit of a brown color also just to smoke it out some. That's all I did. It's actually a very simple look, even though it might look a little complicated. It's very simple. So here I am with a Milani liquid eyeliner, which I got. That one is new, and I just wanted to try it out, and I, I'm actually loving it at the moment. You guys know that I love the NYC liquid liner, but I'm always um, looking for other for new products. I'm always looking for you know new things to try and see if I like it better than the la the, um, the last product I was using. So. That one, I like the tip. It's very, very thin, which, you know, it's very good for creating that cat eye. You know, it makes it a lot easier. So I'm just basically doing the same thing to the other eye, just creating that that um, wing. And I didn't, want, I didn't want it to be too extreme um, because I wanted the focus just to be on the colors that I applied. So I didn't make like a long wing liner, but I did make a little, little wing liner. And again, I'm sorry that I am so off focus. I was recording in a hairy, basically. So I'm just cleaning everything up again with the concealer. You can just, you know, finish it up, finish your look with the concealer. Just clean up any areas that you think that you might need to. You don't have to worry about it and start all over again. So there I'm applying the Demi Wispies from Ardell. I thought this look would be um, falsies. So first I'm going to apply my Mary Kay Lash Love Mascara, um, that is actually a new one because I finished my last one because I use it pretty much every day. And I'm only applying one coat because I'm going to be applying falsies. When I don't apply falsies, you'll know I like two coats on my lashes and that mascara is awesome. But because I'm applying falsies for this look, I'm only applying one coat. And I'm actually going to show how I apply my falsies there I just I apply the glue I'm using the dual glue in black and I'm just letting it dry so it can get tacky so you can put it on your eye and it's very simple I'm just putting it on the on the line of my lash and I'm getting some tweezers just so that I can really put them in there because it's, it's kind of hard with your finger you have to have the right tools to do it I guess if you have um, if you don't have nails on it will be easier for you but for me I just prefer to go with the tweezers and that's basically it. Just fix it on a line along with your eyelash and make it look as natural as possible so that you don't show that strip. Um, and that's basically it. That's all you do. So now that I have both of my falsies on, I'm going to go ahead and apply mascara on them just to blend my lashes with the falsies to give it a perfect look, you know, to make it as realistic as possible. And I'm also going to be applying mascara to my lower lash. Again, using that Mary Kay Lash Love Mascara. And now I'm going to contour because my daughter kept telling me, Mommy, you look so white, you need to apply some something on your face. <laughs> so I am using the Kat Von D um, contouring brush. I love this brush. It's very easy to use. It's very friendly. I love how it feels on your skin. It's not hard on your skin or anything. So here I am just applying it on the hollow of my cheeks just to thin out my face and some on the temples. Um, and of course also on the double chin. 
I apply a little contour on there and I'm using the I'm actually using the lighter shade on the palette so I'm just taking a smaller a bigger brush well smaller brush than the one I was using and I'm just contouring my nose just making it look thinner I'm basically basically getting a nose job for free you know just in seconds and always remember when not only do the sides of your nose but also do the tip of your nose that's going to lift your nose and make it look more pointy and I'm going to be using the NYX ombre blush which I love those blushes so I'm going to be using that one I can't remember the shade on that one um, and just applying it and again I don't apply it really to the apples of my cheeks just because my cheeks are so big as they are and if you put them there I feel like it just makes it look even bigger and now of course I'm gonna go with my glow kit from Anastasia Beverly Hills and I'm going to be taking a fan brush from Smashbox and I'm going to be applying that to the top of my cheeks and on top of my eyebrows some of the on the bro on the bridge of my nose and the cupid's bow and then I'm going to be applying my dose of color lipstick which in this case I went with the nude color in the shade stone that is my favorite favorite nude color um, from dose of colors it's they're mad I've said it in many videos they are you know it's an amazing formula they are very pigmented they don't dry out your lips at all you feel your lips feel moisture moisturized all day it's just a great great formula so I'm basically just I basically just applied that and applied some lip gloss and that was basically it thank you guys